So I'm going to demo a project I did back in grade 12 for you guys. It's called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's based on the TV game show that has a database of over 600 questions. I think it would be best if I just play it and show it to you guys. So as you can see it has all the sound effects from the original game show. You can pick your own background. I like the darker one so I'm going to use that for the rest of the demo. So playing the game you can see the category, the amount and the bank and you could either continue with the question or you can walk away. Walking away means you get the amount. Continuing means if you lose it you can you lose all the money that you won so far. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. So let's just play. I'm just going to use the lifelines even though I know the answer so you can see I just won that and it's banking the amount of time that was left on my timer before I answered the question and the amount of time that you bank together is used for the million dollar question at the end if you make it there so here I'm just going to use double dip And I got it right on my first try, so I didn't need to use a second try. But normally you'd pick a wrong answer and you get to another chance. So I'm just going to call a friend and let's see, he says that the answer is Teletubbies. So I'm going to go with that. So I'm not sure of this answer. So I'm just going to go with an answer and since I lost, I'll go on money. Go back to the main menu about the experts. So if you make answer the $1,000 question, you get one of these experts and they all specialize in something and you can read about their specialties and if you use them for that question, you're guaranteed to get it right. Use them for any other question and you're not going to get the answer right. They'll give you answers like I'm not sure, I've never heard of it, and so forth. Going back to the main menu, so this is the game, uh, that's it.